friends, it is Miss Kate. Welcome um, to an art date with Miss Kate. Before I get started, make sure you check below. There's some information about the materials you need for today, um, links and resources that might be helpful, um, as well as if uh, you wanna contact me, there's a few ways to do that down below. Um, so we've been talking about mental health and I thought today we would venture into um, something that's found both in nature and created by people, and it's the mandala. A mandala can be used in meditation, which is an activity that helps to quiet our minds. Um, it gives our minds a chance to breathe, to have a little time to not be chatting and worrying about everything that's going on in the world, and instead just to kind of be in the moment and to be relaxed and peaceful. So what is a mandala? Well, here's a picture of one. That one was created by a human. A mandala is a circular shape that has radial symmetry, meaning that the design repeats around that circle. These mandalas are found in nature too. So here are some examples. Flowers have that mandala shape. So too do our eyes. Mandalas are everywhere. And I think it's a good reminder to us that we need to take time sometimes to slow down and look at this beautiful repeating pattern. So how do you use a mandala and how do they really help in any way? Well, there's a couple things you can do. One, you can download or print a mandala, that circular design that's already made and color it in. Turn some quiet music on or something that really is peaceful. Sit outside, get your markers or crayons or color pencils and slowly go around that circular shape and start filling it in. Because it repeats, it's symmetrical in each little section, your brain doesn't have to think. It can just sort of relax into, okay, I know a circle's coming next. Okay, I know a circle's coming next. Okay, I know a circle's coming next. It doesn't have to be on overdrive like it can be sometimes. That's one way you can work with a mandala. The other way is to create one, which is what we're gonna do in just a minute. What you do is you start with that central point and then you create a design that repeats around the circle. Again, it does the same thing for your brain. It says, brain, we're just gonna repeat that same shape for the next 20 seconds, so you don't have to work so hard. It gives it a little rest, but at the same time, that rest is giving it some strength to be stronger when it's ready to work again. Those are two ways you can use a mandala. The other thing that you can do with a mandala is simply look at it. A lot of times people will use that as something to focus on. They'll look at one that's already completed or they'll find one in nature, like we said, flowers are definitely a great resource, and just sort of stare at it and they'll notice the colors that repeat or the lines that repeat or the shapes that repeat. Repetition calms our body um, that's why a lot of times we get into routines because that's one way our brain knows, well, I don't have to think about that. I already, she already knows how to do it or he already knows how to do it. So I thought what we would do is we'll create and color our own mandalas and give our brains a little break. We can enjoy making some art and getting some mental health strength at the same time. So for this project, you'll need um, a white sheet of paper crayons or markers, scissors, a little bit of glue. And if you have something round, like a round bowl, a round plate, we need to draw a circle. And if you can draw a really perfect circle, which is hard to do by hand, um, that'll be helpful. If not, we'll do our best. So gather that, I'll get my table ready and I'll see you in two snaps of a finger clip. Here's something interesting. Mandala means circle in Sanskrit. Yeah. All right, friends, here we go. So um, we are gonna be making this turtle with a mandala on its back. You might be thinking, Miss Kate, why a turtle? Of all animals, you could have chose anything. You chose a turtle. Well, turtles represent slowing down. In lots of cultures, they mean the wisdom of the earth and taking life at a slower pace. And that's really important to do to keep our mental health intact as well. It gives us a little time to uh, relax and recharge. So our mandala is going to be not only a place for us to make our art right now, look at it afterwards, which I had mentioned is helpful, but also to remind us to slow down, take a breather, uh, enjoy the moment. 
So let's get started. I have my bowl here and I've got my white paper. Um, what, what I'm gonna do is flip my bowl upside down and I'm gonna leave a little space on the bottom so I can draw in my turtle head and feet and little tail. And I'm gonna take my black marker so y'all can see. Actually, let me use my wash bowl in case I get on my bowl. And I'm gonna trace around the bowl. So go ahead and do this. If you have a bowl or a cup or whatever you found that is round, go ahead and trace it on your paper and then move it out of the way when you're done. Be careful, especially if it's one that might break you don't want, want, don't want that to happen. You got that? Okay. Remember too, at any point, if I'm going a little too fast, pause the video and then we'll be here waiting when you're ready to start back up again. Before we do anything with this, we're gonna go ahead and add on the feet and the head and this little tail. So in this open area down here, you're kind of just gonna draw some upside down U's a larger one for the head and then kind of cut it off with a line four smaller ish ones for each of its little flippers these don't have to be perfect by any means as you can see mine are all different sizes this is art we're enjoying. We're gonna stay in the moment and just let our hand and our um, marker go at it. And then the tail is a triangle. So I'm gonna do the letter V in a straight line. And that's all we really need for this moment. What we're gonna do now is cut. Do not look at me while you're cutting. Scissor safety is key important here. What we're gonna do is cut out our circle as best we can. Stay on the line. Look down while you're cutting. I'm looking down too, even though you can't see my eyes. And I'm going very carefully on the line. I'm not rushing. I want this to be somewhat calming for us as well. So let your hand and your scissors just sort of go around. And we're gonna move this uh, large piece that has our uh, head and flippers off to the side. We'll come back to those. Go ahead and close up your scissors and have your circle ready. We're good? Okay. Now this is kind of fun. To be able to create really even spaces on this, if you see here, I've got each one uh, designed. We're gonna fold our circle. So take really well there's no bottom or top it's kind of just it's all around <laughs> and fold it what would be the bottom to meet the top okay and we're going to crease it now we have a half circle now let's take the right side and fold it to meet the left side and crease it now we have quarter of a circle. And we're gonna do one more fold. This one can be a little tricky, so you might need help because our paper is getting thicker now. It's all piled together. But what you're gonna do is take this straight line and fold it to meet the other straight line. So it might be easier if I turn it this way. This straight line is gonna come over to meet the other one. See that? And you're gonna crease it. Like I said, this last one, even for me, is a little bit, I gotta put a little more muscle power into that one. Okay? And so you're gonna open it back up now. And we've created radial symmetry within our circle here. Each of these sections repeat, and they're going to be the same. They're all gonna look the same as we get going. So. Take your black marker or pencil or whatever you have, and we're going to make these lines stand out for us. Okay, so wherever you had that crease, go ahead and go over it now with 
your uh, writing tool. And if you notice, all I do is I just slowly turn my circle a tad. This hand, the right hand with my marker, knows what step to do and it's very calming. It's not a lot of work, it's very repetitive. Your brain likes that. It says, ooh, I got it now. Now, let's start adding our design. We'll start simple and we'll do it together. And from there, you can on your own create how, how you would like to fill in your mandala. I'm gonna start with an upside down U in each one. Can you go ahead and do that too? As you do it, slowly turn your paper until you get all the way back to the beginning. Got it? Okay. Now, how about inside there, we'll put a circle. So after, write one and then slowly keep turning. Doing okay? Good. Now you might be saying, but mate, Miss Kate, mine aren't all the same size. They're not perfectly the same. It's okay. It's the repetition and the fact that you're doing the same shape to best of your ability. That's the calming point. So no judgment on this one. This is just the act of making, okay? Let's add another design now. How about we'll do that upside down U so it gets another layer. Good? Okay, are you getting the point now, how it works? I'm gonna keep going and suggest, suggesting things. If you wanna work on your own and kind of go a little faster, you're welcome to do that. Um, I'm gonna now put some zigzags. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up down, up, down, up. I'm gonna do that all the way around. All right, let's keep going. Now I'm just gonna put two big circles. See how it fits within those two little down sections? What next? How about we'll do a wavy line? Again, if you've got your own ideas, that's fine too. Go ahead and follow those. If you wanna stay with me, I'd be more than happy to have you as my art guest. Okay. Uh, I think we'll just do maybe one more layer and then we can add some color and I'll show you how to actually create your um, turtle. How about, I'm gonna put two like spokes, two lines that come off of each bump. So wherever I have an upward bump, I'm gonna put two lines. So that one's a little funky. Oh well, two bumps. You might notice while you're doing this, especially if you do it again on your own, your breathing will calm down. It will get repetitive, just like your hand markings. It's kind of cool, pay attention to it. Oh, that looks really neat. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the pause screen so you'll be able to see both of mine. 
and I want you to color them in. Color them in the same way that we were drawing them. Don't just start coloring all over. Do it in that repetitive motion. So I will do all my dots first. Then I'll switch and do the area around it. Okay, so I want you to take a few minutes, push the pause screen, and then we'll meet back here and we'll put it all together. All right, guys, here we go. So here's my mandala colored in. What we're gonna do now together is we are gonna snip with our scissors one of those black spokes, one of those black lines that we drew. We're gonna go just to the middle, right on the line, and then put our scissors down. So go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and grab your glue, glue stick um, or the wet glue, um, both will work. The glue stick might stick a little faster. Wet glue takes a bit to dry. And here's what we'll do. On this little piece, if this was like a piece of pie in this mandala, this first piece of mandala pie, I want you to cover with glue. You're gonna take the next piece that's next to it and lay it on top. And that's gonna create our shell of our mandal, of our turtle. Okay, do you see how that worked? Can't pull it back apart, it's stuck together. But that first piece, you're gonna lay your second piece right on top of that piece of mandala pie. So you're gonna have a double piece right there. And we'll just put that out of the way to dry for a second. We'll get this that we are working on that had our head and flippers and our tail and quickly color those in. Any color you wish, um, I think I'll just do a quick old purple. Um, I'm gonna put where its eyes are so I don't color those in. And you can actually color outside the lines if you want on this one, because we're gonna be cutting them out. If you wanna make these patterned or have polka dots, stripes, zigzags. They could be rainbow colored. They can be all different if you want. Um, totally up to you. This part is your creativity shining through. I'm gonna keep mine simple because I really like how the mandala has such an awesome design. And let me just get some eyeballs in here. And then we'll cut these out as well. So remember, when you're cutting, don't look at me, look down at your paper. I'm looking down at mine too. We wanna to keep all of those little fingers attached to our bodies. We're gonna carefully cut out each one. If you enjoyed making the mandala, you now know how to, and you don't have to turn it into a turtle. You can just keep it as a, an artwork in and of itself. Um, I just thought for fun, we can add in this turtle since it's got some symbolic meaning um, that will remind us to slow down, take a breather, oops, pay attention to nature. You guys doing okay? All right, remember if you need to pause the video at this point, that might be helpful to go ahead and get all of your cutting done. I probably can cut a little bit faster than y'all because I've got some extra years of training. So I'm totally okay if you need to pause because we'll be here waiting for you when you're ready. All right, I'm gonna move my scraps out of the way, put my scissors down. And now all you have to do is put a little glue on the end, for example, of the head, and you're gonna stick that underneath, behind on the underside of your mandala shell, okay? If that's too challenging, you can stick them right on top as well. I'll show you how to do that with the 
flipper here. Okay, so it works that way as well. I like how it looks on either. So either works, whichever is um, a little bit easier for you. Okay, and that's about it, guys. Take the time to finish up. I'll put the pause screen um, so you can see mine completed. And then I will flip the screen. Oops, I put that on the wrong side because I was talking. Um, and give you a send up. All right. All right, guys. Um, great work today on these mandalas. I would love to see how they come out. You're welcome to send me pictures. Um, there's some information how to do that below. Um, have fun finishing them up. If you create more, that's awesome. Remember how to do it. Remember that it's going in that circular rotation that repeats. It allows you to calm down. It gives your brain a chance to relax. You can do them outside. You can do them with music on. And you also can do them with found objects. If you happen to go outside, you can do them with leaves that might be on the ground and you create that same pattern. It would be a nature mandala. Um, if you have a bunch of Legos, you could do them in a really cool ordered fashion around a central point. So have fun, be creative. If you get a chance to get some fresh air, do that. Be kind and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.